Washington, D.C., where history lives, a city where monuments honoring our past stand as a constant reminder to our shared heritage. But today, our nation's capital boasts a new landmark that represents its hope and commitment to the future. The new Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge, named in honor of America's great abolitionist and civil rights leader, is now not only providing much needed traffic relief, but it's revitalizing an entire area as well. With NECA contractor Aldridge Electric and IBEW Locals 26 and 70, the beautiful new bridge is delivering cars, pedestrians, and bicyclists into southeastern DC easier than ever before. It's truly a gateway connecting communities. Many, many years ago, this was really a place of, you know, a pass through. You didn't stop, you didn't stay, you didn't, certainly didn't live here. The Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge really is an iconic structure that binds the district and really makes a place for the community. This area where this project is, at one time it was a, it wasn't not so nice neighborhood. And now it's a beautiful place to see. You have baseball stadium here, Nat Stadium, and then you also have Audi Field. And the traffic goes straight into downtown Washington, D.C. This area for the longest time has been underdeveloped. And this bridge coming on along with Nationals Park and a few other projects up and down here are going to create a whole new environment here. The bridge represents the largest project in the history of the District Department of Transportation half a billion dollar job and it's nearing total completion. But Aldridge has been on the job before the first shovel of dirt was ever turned. We targeted this job back in 2014, 2015. It's a large complex project and it's also got transportation scopes and utility scopes combined with it, which are two of Aldridge Electric's specialties. And when you combine all that together, it's a, it's a key project for us to target and go after. We brought a lot of the brothers, especially for the arches, for the bridge itself, because we're running the conduits inside for all the aesthetic lighting, the traffic lighting. We also have lights that go inside the arches, GFCI system, like all your power. We actually had to climb down inside and put our electrical conduit and junction boxes so we could pull our wire to terminate the lights and all that stuff has to get done prior to the bridge foundation being poured. So the electrical component on this job is extremely interesting. And I say that because there's so much electrical inside the bridge. You see all the concrete. We have miles of conduit and wire deep within the concrete, the substructures, through the bridge deck. It's all going to your light poles, your aesthetic lighting system. We got conduit outlets and lights in the arches. You don't see any of that. So you got all this underground infrastructure that these guys have put in. And you know, it, it all lights up the bridge. It's very cool and the guys have done an awesome job. The wind never stops. And in the mornings we would come out, get on a boat. They would take us out to the barge. And then we would get up on the man lifts to do our lighting and, and run conduit under the bridge. And the barges would rock, so. You had to watch that you didn't get your fingers smashed because your basket's bouncing, and it, it was a little challenging. Our contractors know what they're getting into when they bid a project. They know their workforce, what they're capable of. They don't have to add a lot of money into the job bid to account for those unknowns in the project. So they can handle problems that come up and they can troubleshoot on the job, not waste a lot of time and effort and, and money. That's how they can keep the contracts and the projects on budget, on time. That's what an advantage that we have. Yeah, no, with the IBW and Aldridge, uh, they did a great job just talking to me, getting me involved, keeping me in the loop when we have uh, potential obstacles coming in. Talking to their foreman is like talking to mine. Talking to their laborers is fine. As we get along well, we from the beginning to the end, it's just just having like, you know, it's another team on the, on the job site. With so many people moving in so many different directions at once, worker safety must be more than a sticker on a hard hat or a poster on a wall. It's part of the Powering America team culture. 
Safety is, a, is everything, up, above everything. That's number one. Aldridge has the best safety program that I've ever dealt with, and I've been doing this for almost 40 years now. Safety is our number one priority. We want the job to be profitable and done on time, but most importantly, we want it to be done safely. No shortcuts. Safe jobs completed on time and on budget. That's the NECA IBEW calling card. As our nation moves into what many are calling the infrastructure decade. We want to build our infrastructure. We want to move our people. We want our people coming to our cities. And doing bridges like this is exactly what facilitates that. The old bridge had been there for years, and I mean, it was really in disrepair. When people start looking at what's going on here, they will see that we are picking it up. We are starting to rebuild the inter infrastructure. It's when the government, the private sector, and the community comes together. These infrastructure projects can be built. In Washington, D.C., the potential of a rebuilt nation is now a reality. To local residents, it's introducing what's possible in the future today, while it takes its rightful place among our capital's most impressive sites. It's just a huge accomplishment to see the new bridge and see everything open and just to see the state that it was in compared to what we've replaced it with is so awesome. My kids have been here before with my wife so they're coming out here, taking pictures, proud of daddy. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, you could just go from one side to the other, and depending on where you stand, and I mean, it's an incredible view. Incredible. I love it. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information.